Hi everyone, this is a demonstration of using the setlist feature of the uh, full version of the editor. Um, so I've got the editor running. First thing I need to do is to click the setlist button. Uh, I've got a couple there, so I'm just going to delete them. Delete. Oop. Right. So that's my, we'll see my setlist one, nothing. So all I need to do is to fill out with something. So I'll go to my thing here, get some from my library. Not, I'm not going to do too many. Oops. I use shortcuts, it's easier. Like so. Um, I can then go to get some from the voice line 3. What I'll do to start with. And where do I want to go now? Oh yeah, back to that. No, I don't. I want to go to there. Put them in there. I can get some from my from within a backup. Um, so I've got a backup there. Take a couple from that. Go back to that. Uh, put them there, like so. Uh, I can get some from within. Um, packs, so I might want to get from the factory bank those four. Go back to there, put them in there, and what else have I got? Yeah, I've got some things I can take from an archive. Ooh, that archive would do. Take two from there. I'll try to do as I can, doesn't matter where we put them. Like so. Um, I can tidy the list, which brings it all back together. All nice and tidy. Um, <clears throat> it's a couple of extra features here. We've got, uh, you can tell it where you want the set list to start from. So you could have set list one starting from one, set list two starting from 50, set list three from 100, and so on if there's only 50 presets in there. Um, another feature you can do, you can actually tell it to. When it sends these presets to to the voice like three to change the genre of the presets that it's sending the, the advantage of that is that you they can then store your different set list at different locations and each <coughs> each set list will have a different genre and then on the voice like three unit itself if you press the genre button you can then tell it to display just that genre just that genre um so you, it's a very uh, good way of that of uh, Navigating just your set list on the voice line three. Um, so, <clears throat> also, also it allow, another thing that it allows you to do, you can pad a pre, you can pad your set list. So, what that allows you to do, if, if you have a preset which you like to use for your normal talk voice, so if you're uh, an entertainer that likes to talk to your crowd between in between your songs, um, what you can do then you can say, right, I want to pad this preset list out so that in between each one. I'm going to have this particular preset for talking. Uh, so that when you're singing, you just hit the button, ready to talk, and when you're ready to get to your next preset, just piece it up, and then you're ready to go. Now, to do, to do that, what you need to do is to get to a preset um, from anywhere, really. I'll go from the library. Um, what should we use? That would be a daft one like Barry White. Right-click it. Use as set list padding yeah now if I wanted to change the location where the preset starts the set list starts from in this section here of the library screen presets on voice like three you can right click it one of them and then the bottom one look start set list here at that location so that's what we'll use in a minute just I'll show you where it was while I'm there so we need to give it a name Save set list and we'll call it test. And you can see there, look, it says Barry White is the padding preset. And at the moment, it's not going to pad, it's turned off, um, which is fine. Right, so that's that set list saved. Called it test. Uh, and then we can send that to the voice. Now, my voice has changed because uh, preset one has just got overridden. So I'm just going to go back to there and get my voice back. Like so, <clears throat> did it put my voice back? 
da 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 yep back to there all right now set this to <clears throat> this test two that we're going to write over here um it's going to be based on this set set list here so rather than bring everything back in you might think oh well it's very similar except the order is going to be different so we can do hallelujah there and we're going to do another brick in the ball at the beginning because we like a bit of pink floyd um, we're going to put elvis there uh, we don't want that one so we can just press delete button uh, we don't want that one we can just press delete button if you want to do insert one so let's go and find ourselves a preset to insert so we go to the library that's it's on the screen screen barracuda just copy that go back to my there and I want it to go in there so just insert it like that so press the insert button and then control V all right um, now we want it to start it doesn't matter at the moment but I'm gonna save it there save set list and we call it test B that's the one I didn't name test B right now so we're gonna test one uh, we're going to use that sell out to be a favourite. Or oh, showcase will do. Uh, right, so we've got it set as showcased. Uh, and then we're going to send that to the voice like three. Away it goes. As you can hear, my voice has changed. And all these presets are going to be set to showcase three genre. Um, and they go up to, where well, they go up to 20. So if I now go to library. Click on be, be, be. Barracuda, I can't remember where it was. Uh, I'll do it on 26. It's easy. Right click that. Set list starts here. Alright, go back to my set list. This time we're going to use number 2. Yeah, see, so it tells me it's going to go at number 26. And then I can change the genre for that one. Uh, pop. Pop. And then send that to voice like 3. So now, if you're using it live, you could say display, uh, go to genre, just turn on whatever the first one was I had, favorite, oh, showcase, showcase it was, um, and then it will just display that first section. If I was to go and then change the genre to pop, it will do a second set list. So that's a very quick uh, explanation of how it works. Um, hope you enjoy it. Goodbye.